Where do things change for this hockey club here tonight uh, in an effort to get a split and go back home? Uh, well, we obviously have to be a lot better in basically every area of the game. Uh, special teams, 5-on-5, five five, doesn't matter what it is, we have to take it, take it to another level here. What did you like about last night that maybe you can build on a little bit at least here, take some positives from yesterday? Uh, Goaltending. Kaz <laughs> uh, is obviously still on his head last night. And other than that, uh, a lot of passengers. So uh, we have to be uh, we have to be a lot better here. What does Sheldon like to play for? Uh, he can be, he's, he's demanding. Uh, you know, he, he puts a he puts a, a game plan uh, out there for us, and you know it's up to us to follow it. So uh, that relies on the leadership of the group to relay his message, and we have to do a better job of that uh, here tonight. Go ahead. You expected them to come at you fast last night, which they did. Does that help to see that live? Now you know what to expect and going into game two and for the rest of the games in the series? Yeah, uh, I think we kind of started the same way last series. We kind of tiptoed into the Albany and we, we got beaten the first game and we responded well in game two. So, um, you know, we're looking for the same thing here tonight. We know they're a fast team. We know they're going to come out hard and really feed off the energy of this building. So we'll be, uh, we'll be ready to go tonight. Gaps between forwards and the defensemen to ease things on you and uh, help negate that forecheck check a bit for better exits from the the D zone. What do you have to do here tonight? For sure, we need to have uh, better contact uh, th throughout the neutral zone to slow them down. They got a lot of, a lot of speed over there, and you know they really they really make it hard on uh, us defensemen to get the puck out. So uh, more more contact, more stings, and uh, make it harder on them to, to get their feet moving. Syracuse is pretty effective at blocking shots from the point. What can you do to remedy that? Yeah, they were uh, they did a tremendous job of that last night. Uh, the D got to do a better job of, uh, of moving our feet to the middle and getting shots through or if they are in the lane just getting it by that first guy just find a way to get it down in the pile in front of the net use the end wall use the back of the net there's a there's a lot of different things we can do to get by that first guy not that the last series wasn't exhausting but do you if this one keeps going the way it is if you get to six or seven games it's going to be quite physically telling on both teams yeah for sure that's uh that's playoff hockey that's uh this time of the year we got uh Two fast physical teams who you know play a really up tempo style, up tempo style. So it's going to be key in between games that we're getting our rest and getting hydrated and nutrition and all that stuff because uh, yeah, for when we're out there for the game, it's uh, it's pretty taxing.